No! No! Oh! Hey, sweet pea. Oh! Lee? What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kittercord, welcome back to The Walking Dead, the final season. And it feels great to be back in this final season and to actually complete the season, because if you guys don't know, Telltale Games did shut down, but luckily, Skybound came in a clutch and pretty much um, bought the rights to The Walking Dead from Telltale and uh, uh, decided to finish the game for us. So... Uh, episode 3 was just released today, on Tuesday, uh, which is the 15th of January, which also happens to be Call of Duty's 115 day, and it is pretty damn cool. Um, so, I, I know that I'm not uploading this on, like, you know, the closest Tuesday, uh, for Telltale Tuesday for this episode because today is Tuesday. But the thing is, I can't record this, edit it, and then um, upload it in the same day. So, uh, it will have to be another Tuesday um, as soon as possible. But, uh, you guys are watching it now. So, I mean, no harm done, right? So, in the last episode, we got to meet up with Lily again. Uh, after all these years, we met Lily, and then she decided to kidnap three of our people and killed one. Um, yeah, so now is our job to get them back. So, let's, let's do that, shall we? Damn. At the start, I was so little, and, and Mitch looked after me. People said he was a dick sometimes, but he was always nice to me. Now he's gone. in the eye by some asshole who never even knew his name. Mitch was looking after all of us. He gave his life so we could go on fighting. I know that. Doesn't make it any easier. He'd want us to find our friends and bring them home safe. And he'd want us to kill the people who took them. Hey, AJ's waiting for you in the basement. We got Abel tied up tight. He's alive, but he's out cold. Thanks. We should bury Mitch. It's time. I'll help you carry- Get away from him! You're the reason he's dead! Oh my god. Really? Well, it's true! We had a plan, and that idiot messed it up! Come on, Willie. None of this is Ten's fault. You know who's really to blame. I can't believe you're defending him! This... This is bullshit! Ten. Dude, Willie. I'll take care of this. Talk to Abel, find out where Lily took Lewis, Omar, and a sim. And Clem, don't be afraid to, you know, hurt him a little. Maybe you'll get more out of him than we did. That, dude, Willie, bro. <laughs> Oh, 
All right. Here we go. Oh, oh god. All right. Lovely. Got your gun back, huh? Uh-huh. So how do, how do we want to wake him up? Slap him? Ready? Or whatever. Uh, let's see. What what do we have here? We can shot at him, slap him, let AJ wake him up, or tr ooh, trench him. Let's do it. Let's go. <coughs> wake up! an old man up from his afternoon nap. <laughs> I was having a nice dream, too. About a girl I used to know from before. She also had me tied up, but I wasn't her prisoner, if you get my meaning. <laughs> <coughs> no offense, but I'd rather go back to my dream, so if you don't mind... Oh my... Oh God, AJ! <laughs> Squirt. Easy on the broken parts. I don't like your voice. Cool it, AJ. We need him to talk. But it's justified. Maybe. But follow my lead. <laughs> you never done this before, have you? You and the devil child just making it up as you go along. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's gonna turn around and come right back for me. <laughs> you better give me the five-star treatment. If I'm smiling when she gets here, you might be able to trade me for a little mercy. You think Lily would come back for you? Look at the state you're in. You're worthless to her now. I can heal. There is no rescue party, Abel. Only a bunch of pissed-off kids who want you dead. So tell us where our friends are. You trade it for mercy. <coughs> Lily will never give him up. The only reason we came here was for more manpower. Losing Jonathan and me, for three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another. From Richmond to the coast. Back Richmond. in the Delta, we're at war with some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say, point the guns the way we tell them to. You little turds are supposed to be easy pickings. No fucking way I'd let my people fight for you. I'm starting to think you're mad at me. You don't you say. I like doing raids like this. Our home is under threat. It's a good home. Built to last. I'd do a lot to protect it. Maybe you can understand that. And I do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my time. Okay. Front pocket. The answer to all your questions. Read it. Whatsoever parteth the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and cheweth the cud, among the beasts, that shall ye eat? What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. I was hoping it'd be some timely, moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. Huh. Well, come on. That thing ain't gonna light itself. Wanna know where your friends are? The smoke will clear my mind. Help me remember stuff. Like where Lily went. Hmm. Come on, kid. Don't make me wait all day. Fine. <laughs> now that is heavenly. 
Oh my god, is it poison? What the shit? Oh, shit. That's a lot of blood. Oh fuck. This is not good. He's gonna die, isn't he? Maybe. We have medicine. We can still patch him up. I don't think so. When you pushed me off that balcony, something must have burst inside of me. No medicine can fix this. Shit. I never wanted things to end like this. Everything. It all got out of hand. Now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? No. <laughs> my, my whole life, everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will for my body to turn on me, to take control. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise, you won't let me turn. I'm begging you. If you're honest with me, I'll put you out of your misery. You have my word. Okay, we have a boat. We're docked a few miles west of here at an old fishing pier. Your friends are on the boat. You, you got what you wanted. Please, don't let me become one of those things. Please, I don't want to turn. We're not, we're not gonna let him turn. It's not right. Not that. I wanna let me keep my face. You don't need to watch this. I want to. Damn, AJ. Such a badass, dude. You can't hurt anyone anymore. Yeah. Come on, we have a boat to find. Come on, AJ, let's go. Don't yo don't stare at it. Skybound presents. Ah, uh, it's no longer Telltale presents. <laughs> A Telltale story. Oh my God. There we go. At, at least, at least they're like um, paying Telltale off, you know, with uh, with at least giving them some credit. Like it's a Telltale story. Um. Yeah. This is obviously copyrighted, so I'm gonna just um, lower the volume on this, or just turn it completely off, depending on how, you know, whatever, it, it, it's really fucked. I, I mean, come on, like, YouTube is really personal with that shit.
Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, if Ten doesn't fuck it up this time. It wasn't Ten's fault. Yes, it was! Mitch died because he... Say one more thing about Ten. I dare you. Guys, look! Is that a working boat? I mean, you know, he... He didn't mention it, you know, it wasn't working or not, so... I mean, it could just be a hideout. <clears throat> I kind of... You see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a... A wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay, let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. Yeah, I kind of pictured, like, a small working boat to where, like, they, they would, like, cross a lake to their actual hideout kind of thing. Let's talk to Violet. You ever seen this boat before? No. Marlin kept us confined to the safe zone. Pier leading up to the boat? It's our only way in and out. Well, let's see what else is down there. We see some people. The pier has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. I can see an entrance. I saw that too. It looks like there's a door at the other end. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. Is Lily on here? I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. They're probably below deck. We should have asked Abel. When he said on a boat, I didn't think it'd be this big. Right? Yeah, same. There are a few on deck. A couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Looks like they're well armed too. I see Lewis. Abel wasn't lying. This is it. Uh oh. Now what? Is there nothing else? I I I bet there's some. There's like one more thing. I'm not saying. Oh, look at Patch. There's no good cover leading up to the boat. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Walkers! We could use James! Maybe if we could get walkers on the beach somehow. Maybe not as hard as you'd think. We, we need to find James. Anything useful? Looks like building material. Furniture. Probably stuff from the train station. They're loading those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy! Well, we could use the supplies as well. Sheet metal, wood, and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. Yeah, exactly. We should have it. Huh. Are those torches? Maybe. Why? We could use the fire. Alright. Cool. So we've talked to Willie. We talked to Violet. Now, who else? Ah, AJ. Buddy, how's it going? Find anything over here? They have horses. Let me see. Yeah. More 
more torches. Setting the hay on fire would get their attention. Scare the horses, too. We could get on the boat easier that way. Yeah, we could, actually. If we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. All right. We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. What's the plan? Well, they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn their stuff. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Ruby would love to have the horses. But I'd rather steal those supplies. I could build traps. No, hey. Weapons. Yeah, we'll steal their supplies and burn the hay as our distraction. If you're going to steal from the rafts, you have to do it carefully. Wouldn't do it any other way. The fire will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot! You remember that guy I told you about? James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. True. Perfect. I mean, he is an ex-whisperer after what about all. after we get everyone home? I mean, the raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick! Who is this person? And what are they doing? A raider. Has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. People you steal. I don't know what you're. I'm not fucking around. Answer the question. The boiler deck. Second deck. They're all there. Clementine, wait. Uh. That. That's Minnie. What? What? After the attack, I wasn't sure. I mean, I heard they burned half your school down. Who survived? Ruby? Mitch? Brody? Ten? Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um, she died. Ten's boots holding up okay? His boots? They're so old, they're more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. It's weird. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. I didn't ask to be put in charge. It just sort of happened. Is that the kind of wishy-washy bullshit you say to everyone back home or just me? Excuse me? Abel figured he could talk Marlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did, but... Like they did before. Oh my god. You ruined the whole plan. What? That all he gave you and Sophie away. Yeah, and we all survived it. Marlin would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. Minnie, you're wrong. Glenn protected us. 
You know, Minnie, you sound an awful lot like one of them. That's really close to the speech Lily gave me in the woods. It's the truth. Oh my god. Where's Sophie? Is she alive? She... She died protecting the Delta. A hero. Aww. A hero? God, you... Nerva! Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Rockingham! Finish up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Yes, ma'am. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. So it does work. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're going to save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Don't fight this. It's not too late, Minnie. You could come back to the school with us. No. No, I couldn't. All right. Are you okay? Nothing's changed. Our plan is to get onto the boat and save our friends. So that's what we're gonna do. You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except ten. I warned you. Enough, both of you. AJ and I will go find James. Good luck. Alright, so. Percentage of this going um, horribly wrong? About 89%, or actually no, 90. I, I don't know why I said 89, but... About 90% it's gonna hit the fan. Shit is gonna hit the fan so hard. So, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? 15? 100? 1,000? Clem, I don't. Ow. Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Here, let's rest a second. Clem, I, I keep thinking. When Willie said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. He was being mean, and Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just punch his head. I tried breathing, kicking rocks. It's okay to get mad at people. You can't help that. But those thoughts have to stay in your head, okay? Don't act on them. Ever. Okay. I'm strong. I can control what I do. Yep. But not what I think. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. He just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. Well, the other kids haven't had it as hard as we've had. Yeah, true. We had to make a lot of mistakes to learn what we know. Yeah. I guess. But Tin's mistakes are just so bad. Maybe he'll learn from them too, like we did. It's weird that people are so different. It, yeah. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? 
trouble like that? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you? I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. Um. You sock it right in the mouth. <laughs> it has a mouth? What I'm saying is that, like everything else in the world, you can fight it. Huh. So, it's like controlling my anger. Perfect. Almost exactly. Yes. I can do that. I still like them. I like Tin the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Oh no, you killing Marlin Actually, was a pretty dumb thing. I think he's my first real friend. Oh Aww. yeah? I thought I was your first real oh, friend. Oh damn. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. Oh. Damn. Oh. Fine. He's my second first real friend. Damn, AJ. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which one is James? James, you're around. I don't see James, just monsters. <clears throat> James, you're hurt. Did the Raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. I could maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them, the walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try. I mean, yo, know, the fucking... Only using B can distract the walkers. Alright, there we go. Distract. Distract. We're fine, right? D no! Oh god, no 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 I just walked over to Pris B again! Are you kidding me? And it did pop up So bullshit See look B Perfect B! Perfect! I'm just gonna try... B! Alright, good. Good, 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 good. B! See? We're doing just fine. B! B! Oh good lord, that's a lot of you. B! How long I can keep this up? Did you find your mask? I can't find it. The horses must have. There. Oh shit. No oh, god. Run. Hey, over here. AJ. No, oh, there are too many of them. Cart. If we push it, the noise will draw them away. Uh, 
No, 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 no. B! Dick! Perfect. AJ, are you okay? Yeah, no bites. I know it would have been easier to kill them. You're kind. I appreciate it. Really. Awesome! Diamond achievement! Mercy! Did no harm. Thank you for helping me get this back. Now, how will Walker save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide? To sneak on board their ship? That's insane. It's our only chance. I... I have something I need you to see. So you can understand what you're asking. Uh... James. Okay. They still need his help, right? Yes. Yeah, we do. Just a little further. Okay, then. Talk to James. Where is James? James! Buddy! Oh, there he is. My people, my former people, they had a practice. They called it collecting. them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do. As people. As people? Well, not people exactly, but <sighs> something in between. Part of us is still in there. Deep down. So few of us die anymore. We turn. Not dead, not alive. I wish I could see it that way. It'd be nice to think that everyone isn't actually gone. In a way, they're just lost. Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. Think about it this way. As someone you cared about turned. Yes. Yes, so Crone's many friend, people. Lee. She let him. Well, I shot him. Do you him, really think but... there's nothing left of who he was? Uh... No, he's gone. Even if his body is still moving, there's nothing left. Just a walker. I'm sorry you feel that way. I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. 
when they're alone. They're harmless. Innocent. If you want my help, I need you to try and walk with them. Then tell me if you really believe they're just monsters. They are just monsters. They're not people or friends. Clem. She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. She just needs to move as they do. Lewis would do it for us. Yeah, I guess. The first rule is never go alone. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. See if there's somewhere to hide. I will. Don't let fear take over. Duh. I will. I promise. The mask will disguise your scent. But be gentle. And be quiet. Touch the wind chime. You'll see. <sighs> oh, good lord. Touch the wind chime. Where's the wind chime? You guys are pushy, I get it. You need to touch it, you need to touch it. This is interesting. I like it. I'm fine. See? No bites. No bites. So, do you still think they're just monsters? Now that you've seen them at peace, any different at all? I... I think you might be right about there being something more to them. It was kind of nice in there. Really? Never met someone who understood. It's... Oh. Thank you. I'm glad. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Many. Uh -huh. But that was a long time ago. I've killed someone before, too. AJ. You've killed someone? But I was justified. Oh my god. I He's just see. never gonna let this go. He's never gonna let it go. <sighs> That's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? I 
thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. All of the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine, but I can't have more blood on my hands. So let me get this straight. If you really had to choose human life or walker life, which is more important? Walkers are peaceful. H humans... My friends are alive, not kind of or maybe alive. They're trapped and they're afraid. They need my help. I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. Those raiders are cruel. They force others to be the same. Yeah. And if your friends are anything like you, I don't doubt they're worth saving. It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. Thank you, James. Be ready. I can't undo this. Sad walkers. Did you mean it? Is he right? Well, we can't know for sure. <laughs> Maybe he's right. Death might not be like we thought before the world turned like this. Maybe something is left after we die. Oh, that sounds weird. But <laughs> if you believe it, I do too. Come on, AJ. I mean, it's Let's nice. Get back before it's too dark. It's kind of nice to think that, you know, in case you do die on this mission, you know. Not like you, though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. <laughs> hey, Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat and a herd of walkers, I'd call them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well... I wanted to throw one last hoot in Annie before the big fight. Swear? Huh? It sounds like a swear. No, it's just another word for party. Right. I know it sounds strange, throwing a party, but people need something to lift their spirits right about now. This could be our last chance. Mm. I wanted to make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, I'll be an artist. I'm gonna make the deck... Uh, the decor... Decoration. A decoration for the party. Okay, I'll get the <laughs> heater. Alright, where the fuck is the heater? We got our bag. Uh, oh, here we go. I'm done, Clem. Come see. Okay, be right there. What you got? What you got? Huh? Hey, you're getting better at this. 
Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. There are three kind of eyes, Clem. Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters' eyes. They usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters' eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people eyes right as you kill them. Like you did to Abel. His, his eyes look like you blew a candle out. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him, too. I think there's something wrong with me. You know what, AJ? Everything you're feeling is okay. It makes you a good person. Am I good? I wish what we did yeah, felt good. Of course. Part of me wants to like it. I'm getting real smart. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Yes, because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay, what are you thinking about right now? You getting bit, turning into a monster. Ah. Uh... Yeah. yeah, the older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? No! Anyone no! Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. That's not happening. You don't know that. Uh, it's it's gonna no, be Lee I all over again. But it won't happen anytime soon. You don't know that either. You're just trying to be brave for me. It does something weird to my stomach. Like I'm gonna get the dookies. AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Shoot. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promise. I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. No. I... No. You don't mean that. I don't wanna be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much but don't make me alvin jr you know you're not supposed to talk like this you're too strong and too brave i don't think i am anymore about this yes you are you are okay <sighs> you can't break promises aj i know you're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit, and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. You think so? Uh... Let's say James might be right. That monsters have part of the person they were still inside them. But the thing is, no one can prove that. And if we can't prove it, we're not going to risk our lives over it. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. <laughs> What's with AJ? He just... Needs some space. Can we talk about what happened today? With Minnie? Yeah, sure. What's wrong? The thing is, seeing Minnie, I feel like it should have scared me, but it didn't. The person we ran into in the woods, that wasn't Minnie. Not really. The way she sounded and acted, the way she talked about Sophie and Lily, I'm... I'm confused, I guess. It's not Minnie's fault. The raiders just got in her head. 
I never said it was. But it doesn't change anything. Minnie? The real Minnie. She's gone. She's been gone this whole time, and I have to stop mourning her. I won't let her take you or AJ, or anyone else I care about. Lewis knows when to keep his head down. Yeah, shit. Oh, I, I, I hope so. You know, when I first got here, I hated him. He was so much. You know, he walks into a room and it's like, look at me, watch me perform. It's so stupid. But then I realized under all that, he, he really cares about people. And he doesn't just feel it, he says it. He'll tell you every goddamn day how much you mean to him. Shit, he'll probably sing about it. Especially if there's already a famous song with your name in it. We've got to get him back. We will. Louis Omar Asim. We'll get them all back. Maybe we'll lose a couple people. But who knows? Hey, Clem! Oh my god. Wow, where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up and that was pretty gross, but look, it works. <laughs> I should get going. Ruby could probably use some help. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> Back! <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible. Hey. Oh, this is nice. Oh, and we're just gonna stop. Oh. I love you, Clem. I love you back, kiddo. Oh my God. Okay. We better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay. My emotions! Looks like things are coming together. Yeah, we still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? But Lewis isn't here. See that? <laughs> it's like Lewis. And Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Room gets natural moonlight, so something to compliment that, maybe? Red. Definitely red. I'll make it happen. So you take one of those black things that look like plates, and you put it on here. Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so you could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Classical. You guys have any classical? You bet. Interesting. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. I was thinking something uplifting, like, we're gonna get through this. See you on the other side. That's what Clem says to me sometimes when she needs me to be brave. Well, I think we all need some of that right now. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. 
He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Huh. Interesting. Willie? Hey, Clem. Check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait. What are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make oh, sure God. they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. The tricky bit is timing the explosion so that it happens after you get off the boat. Trust me, this'll work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. And, um, Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how he treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. Oh, okay. I guess I'll mingle. I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Oh my god, this Actually, is not gonna work. Uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. I mean, I think uh, it deserves a name. All the best bombs have names. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. Mm. How about Mitch's masterpiece? Yeah. I like that. Mitch would have too. Okay, then it's settled. <laughs> I found them. Oh. Okay, oh, Clementine. classical. These okay. here yeah. are our official Ericsson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And all the bad shit we did that kept them from sending us back home. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read True. some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. Uh. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This will be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Huh. Marlin? Well, not to speak ill of the dead, but that sounds exactly like Marlin. You'd think so, but nope. Really? The person in the file. <laughs> Imagine Marlin times another Marlin. That's Ruby's file! <laughs> Holy shit, really? Guilty as charged. Yeah, you should have seen Ruby back in the early days. She was like, uh... You ever seen those Tasmanian devil cartoons when you were a kid? Yeah. <laughs> that was our Ruby. You used to have a mean streak a mile long. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. 
The <laughs> first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Willie, please, no. Chronic masturbation. Oh, my God. Trust me. Nobody wanted to know that. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, good lord. Uh, don't you dare. Uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? Oh, well, like all kind of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Break out the jazz. Oh my god. Really, my dude? <laughs> Chronic masturbation. I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper. That one girl with colored braces. And Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Aaron. Yeah, I used to make fun of her braces. Why did I do that? Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? <laughs> 34. Aww. Whose is it? Lewis. Should we read it? I could tell you why I was sent here instead. You know, as a consolation prize or whatever. You might hate me after, but since we're all being so open and all. Uh. I was hoping you'd tell me. I spent a lot of time at my grandma's house growing up. What with my dad being a drunk and my mom working three jobs. But after my grandpa died, grandma just kind of shut down. Spent all day and night rocking in her little chair in the den. I'd sit there at her feet as we both watched TV. Mostly cartoons, since she never seemed to care. Sometimes I could hear her crying, but I didn't look back. I'd just feel really weird and turn up the volume, you know? Anyway, one day she left the den and Came back with another chair and a 22 rifle. Set the rifle butt on the top of the chair, holding the barrel back to her chest. So, you know, she had trouble reaching the trigger this way, but she must have known it would happen because she took out this really tacky wooden back scratcher. The real long kind with the one end shaped like a hand. And uh, used that to push the trigger in. So, yeah. Bang. Right. Her body folded up and just kept rocking. My mom came to get me five hours later. I hadn't moved. She asked why I didn't call the police or an ambulance or anything. I just shrugged and told her it wasn't like grandma was going anywhere. And besides, I just wanted to finish my cartoons. She shipped me off to Erickson the next day. I was 11. I'm so sorry, Violet. I can't imagine what that was like, what you went through. It's fine. We've just been through a lot of shit. We weren't good people, Clementine. But it still doesn't mean that we should have been left here to die by the people that were supposed to take care of us. Sorry, this is supposed to be fun. I'm, I'm just not the game type, like Lewis was, I guess. You mean is. We'll see him soon. Ten's right. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared. Too bad I can't play it. Who would have known how? 
He liked that one. You could just sing it to us, like she used to. Your voice is really pretty. Aww. Okay, okay. yeah. All right, I, uh, I can do that. Bravo! Encore! <clears throat> what a great fucking, you know, uh, transaction. I think that's the word. No! No! Oh! Hey, sweet pea. This is where it all started. Oh! <laughs> where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Uh, couldn't let on, of course. You kind of had to think on your feet. Monsters took over the world, and you got stuck taking care of an eight-year-old girl. <laughs> you were a handful, but I didn't get stuck with anything. You kept me going. You want to tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now, and I've been in so many, and they always fall apart. I really like this one. It's different. 
It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. <laughs> the Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. You're right. I just needed to hear you say it. I'm going to get my friends out of this. Every one of them. Alive. Oh, hello? That's right. <laughs> Imagine what Lewis is gonna say when he sees your face. Oh my god. Those boys are gonna have hope again knowing that you came to rescue them. <sighs> oh, sweet pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Branch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A boy who thinks the world of you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. I'm about to cry. Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Out and safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. Lee? I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. <sighs> I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? Yes. <laughs> You have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Uh -huh. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. AJ's amazingly. I've taught him to be strong and brave and capable. You'd be so proud. You mean more than I already am. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh... Moving, Lee. But I'm tired of running. I I have a home now. Then you're off the hook. A home is better than I could have ever hoped for. Time to go, Clementine. Oh my god. You've got people that need you. Goodbye, Lee. I'm trying to hold it back, guys. <laughs> this sucks. Clem, oh. wake up. It's time to go. Oh. Oh, we got a long walk. Ugh. 
God, that was so sad. <laughs> oh. What's up, dog? doing this only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves now we just need your walker friend to... he's here good lord uh, hello <laughs> guys this is james he's my friend he's uh so cool how do you get the skin like that uh, oh I, um, Clementine? Well, come on, give him some space. But I just want to- Not right now. Yeah, right. Sorry. I didn't mean to be weird or anything. It's okay. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. I, uh, uh, hey. Hey there, James. Sorry about Willie. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd marry? <laughs> yeah. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Hold tight. Hey, Tank, can you come talk for a sec? There's something I have to tell you. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. You, our friends, are different. Open minded, accepting, like you. That's not usually how my first impressions go. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. It's just being welcomed. It's strange. Yeah, it might have something to do with the whole skin mask thing. Or the low, creepy whispering. <laughs> I guess you're right. That doesn't help. Still, they managed to see past it. Not many do. True. I wanted to show you something. This is was my boyfriend, Charlie. We joined the Whisperers together. But it changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. No. It changed both of us. What do you mean? The Whisperers were my family from a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison. And I believed in that, fiercely. So much so, that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. Oh my god. I didn't talk to him. Didn't consider who he was, what he felt. Honestly, I don't even remember his name. All I knew was someone like him would only slow us down. That was enough of a reason for me. I had no doubt in my mind that I was right. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. No one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them myself when he said it was the right thing to do 
Taking life like that, from a young age, it breaks something inside you. It broke something in Charlie. Damn. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. Having the life of another in your hands, it's a lot, I'm sure. Just consider it. That's all I ask. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. Take care of AJ. Damn. Okay, he's ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Ted, take care of the supplies. I've got the bomb. Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. See you all on the other side. I'll cut it open. Violet told me about Minnie. Uh, shit. That Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just, if you see her out there, Tell her, tell her I forgive her. Oh, that's a lot of baggage. Please. I tell her myself, but I just want her to be okay. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Thanks. No problem, Ten. To be honest, Ten is like my favorite kid in this whole group. I mean, yeah, sure, you know, you got AJ, you're, you're kind of forced to like him, but 10 it's is, time. We gotta move. 10 is better. Clem, what happens if someone else gets caught while we're in there? What if it's you? I couldn't save Minnie or Lou or a Sim, Omar. <clears throat> You saved me from these people. In a way, you've saved most of us. And if something happened to you, and it was my fault, I can't lose you too. Oh, okay. Oh, God. I won't. Thanks, Violet. But I can take care of myself. I know you can. That doesn't mean... Look, I've got your back. Okay? That's all. Are we good? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's bring our friends back home. All of them. All of them. It's ready. So, I know this is gonna sound gross, but... Covering your smell. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> Get my back. Thanks. No problem. We gonna do it? We're doing it. Oh my god, here we go. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. 
Get to the pier. Oh my Jesus! Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. I can't find another walker. No, I can't find another one. Shit! There's no other one. Oh, that's hard. Okay. Conserve the walkers. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. Fine. We are all good to go. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Shit. No, 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 no. Dude, there's no walkers. <sighs> okay. Mmm. the walkers use them as shields it seems like very uh like like a very simple thing to do right behind you now. Alright, perfect. This is perfect. We got this. The guts are washing off. No. Come 
Let's hurry. Ready, AJ? Walkers! Oh, shit, 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 shit. Thanks for waiting, by the way. No, 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 no. Is that no? Kai, this is so fucking stupid. Come on, let's hurry. Ready, AJ? Walkers! Oh god. No! Oh god. No! friends out. Nini said they keep prisoners on the second deck. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Right behind you. Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? Find the boiler. Alright. Haha. <laughs> They're cool. in the bunch. Where we need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in the way. Maybe there's another way in. Oh, 
So all right, here we go. There you go, Mitch's masterpiece. Bury this thing in the bottom of the river. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. Let's hurry up then. Now find your friends. All right, we'll try. Seriously? Where are they? Oh wait, up here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Minerva, focus. Yes, ma'am. I, I have a little brother, short, scarred face. Is he? He's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. Oh, shit. Of course she had to be the cell guard. We can't sneak past her. Get out. Not without our people. You got Ten caught up in this. Just, just tell me that he's safe. He's safe. He's safe. Give me that. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. <sighs> Shit. I'll help you get everyone out. Then you take my brother and run. Get him back to where it's safe. No problem. Come on, we'll we do have that. To hurry. Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god. Are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I. Uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Take care of Louis first. He's. He's in rough shape. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a there lot is. of time before Dorian comes back. Help me with these guys. Got it. Lewis. Buddy. Lewis. Lewis. What the hell? What the fuck are you doing? Please. Don't no. fucking point that at me. You mean why? Don't have me. Minnie, let us go. No. Oh my god. <sighs> Dude, Minnie's a bitch. Oh, oh. Lewis. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You okay, buddy? What did they do to you? No! No, no, don't. They, they, uh... They cut out his tongue. What? He just, uh... He kept fucking talking. Oh my god, Lewis. No, 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 no. I didn't know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. We're getting out of here, okay? Let's get you home. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Dude, that's so fucked up. Why would you do that? 
You'll be home soon. Have to escape. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! Thank God. Shit. At least we're not moving yet. We've still got time to figure this out. All right. Uh. You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah. I'm all right. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. All right. What about you? Why? Are you all right? I'm fine. Looking for a way out. If this thing explodes... How about you two? How are you holding up? I can't talk. If Lily... She told us not to talk. We'll be home soon. Just hang in there. Omar, are you hurt? I... Fuck. I just want to go home. We will. Okay. All right. Look for a way out. Look out for look for a way out. Come on. Looks like there's a gap here. <sighs> Too small to fit my hand through. Maybe AJ can. We're not staying here that long. Lewis, you okay, buddy? I'll get us out of here. I promise. <sighs> hmm. No? Let's see. Okay. Uh... She metal. Uh, is there? Can you guys do anything? I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or. Damn it! They must have taken away my knife. AJ. Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. Perfect. you doing don't I promise you it ain't worth it step back she awake yes ma'am god damn it good I'll take it from here you bitch you bitch You're also a bitch. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck. You little monster. Damn it. We showed him mercy. 
He was terrified of turning, so we stopped him from having to. We gave him what he wanted. <laughs> I'm sure you did. No. No, no. No. Bad Lily. Minerva. Open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organize these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. Look, if I'm the one you want, let the others go. This isn't a negotiation. This is me telling you how things are going to be. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. Well, I guess asshole runs in the family. Is that the consequence? That you're an asshole? The consequence is, I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults. But he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it The Parable of the Twins. <laughs> Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind, and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs, and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They needed help fighting, or they'd lose everything they built. Their crops, their power, even their lives. They threatened to cut out their tongues? They only do that to the ones who can't keep their mouths shut. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up Come trouble on, every Minnie. chance she got. You know this she is wrong! She convinced her sister to help her steal a rat and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. Are you what fucking- the Jesus fuck? Christ! Minnie! No, tell me it's not true! Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one, or the dead one? 
Fuck this! You gun to her head, you fucking psychotic bitch! You're evil! You are fucking evil! Violet, calm down. You saw what they did to Lewis. Just do what they say. Why? So I can become a soldier in their army? Someone who kills the people they love? Fuck that! Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. No, 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 no. Don't you, no. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. No, no. Stop. Don't hurt Violet, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo, you better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck no, get off of me. No, Lily, call it off. Uh, Easy, uh, stay still. Shit. Fuck you, no. AJ. Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Come on. Just no, breathe. No, no, no. AJ, no! Fuck, no, no, no! Oh! Ah! Fuck! What the hell? Uh. No, AJ. Do you think you can kill me? I know I can. We'll throw you in the river. I will put a knife right to the side of your head. Big talk for a little guy. <sighs> I know I can do it. I killed Marlin, and I was justified. Dang. So you killed Marlin. I bet you'd make a great soldier. AJ, listen to me. Don't talk to her, okay? She's a monster. Clem seems to care a lot about you. No, 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 no. Come on. No! Let's go have a chat. Just us. No! <laughs> fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clementine! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! I'll start up the boiler. No! Don't. Don't you dare look at me like that! Oh, I'm this doing is it. The only way we survive. Who are you? Fuck survival! Look at what you're doing! Minnie, please. I just want to talk to you for a second. I'm sorry we never searched for you. We're Sophie. I'm sorry we trusted that fucker Marlin. If I ever thought there was a chance. I know. I know. Okay? But Sophie's dead. You all need to understand. This is the only way. Lay down, stay in line, or you die. The people you love die. If you just do what they say, you can live. Fuck you. All Fuck you. So fucking stupid. No, 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 no. Oh, come the fuck on. I won't let you get them all killed. No. Oh! Come on, we have to go. I can't... I can't leave her. Go, I'll catch up. Clem, come on! We have to get the hell out of here. Go, I need to find AJ. Better see you on land. You will. This is so fucked. Shit, 
No oh god, no, this is we'll gonna be bad. Sharpen it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. You'll come around too, once you see what we have to offer. Found Plenty one of more food, comfortable beds for you and Clem. You can even share a room. Tin! Fuck. Tennessee, did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. This way. Found this in the herd. No wonder there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say? You don't fucking scare me. Is that so? Force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Oh because my God. you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. Kill it. No! What the fuck? No! Easy there, Ted. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shoot her! Why don't we all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or, or else. Oh, fuck. Fine. Go ahead, then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? I see. You came here to cry. Tim. <laughs> Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please don't! No! Oh my god! AJ! Oh, no, no, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it! Oh, fucking Christ! Oh my, ow! Oh. Hey, bitch! Come on, get up, get up! Come on, come on, Clem! Clem! Oh! No, 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 Uh, yes, AJ! Perfect! A little bit higher though, next time. It'd be great. <laughs> Fucking bitch! Yeah, you look like you're bleeding out right now. That's a lie. AJ, she's not a threat. Lower the gun. You weren't down there. You didn't see what she did. She cut my friend's tongue out. You don't have to do this, please. It's a trick. Don't you fucking dare, AJ. Oh my god. Just give me the gun. You can't let her hurt anyone else. I don't want to die. Lower the gun, AJ. Okay. Uh, 
what? No! James! No! 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 <laughs> Too late now! Shit, the bomb! AJ! Oh, no. <laughs> Is that it? That's it! No way! You and 93% of the players, uh, <laughs> Mercy killed, um, Abel, okay? You and 94% of players respected James, uh, James's beliefs and killed no walkers. 3% of players killed some of the walkers and James's camp and 3% uh, ignored James's wishes. Okay. You and 66% of players named the bomb Mitch's masterpiece. Nice. You and 22% of players stopped AJ and let uh, Dorian cut out of AJ's finger. Uh, you and 58% of players <laughs> told AJ wait to not kill- oh, 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 okay. I see now, okay, you and 42% of players told AJ not to kill Lily. Okay. I just looked weird. Uh. Oh no, uh, you, you and 58% of players refused it. Okay, we're good. We're good then. Uh, I, I, I don't, uh, James, no! M.I.A. Uh, M.I.A. Dead. M.I.A. 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 I worried about everyone really was excited about you wanting to name the bomb. Uh, Ruby was proud uh, you did not recognize her official. Um, Alright. Her paper. Is there a say? I don't care about this. I just care about the story being told. Oh my god, there's no way that ends like that. Oh, we're going, dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode uh, of The Walking Dead, the final season, Broken Toys, uh, then kick the hell that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in my future videos. And until then, remember, when in doubt, Zigzag it out.